It is time to attack another castle in the area. Hello reformers and welcome back to 108 Heroes. This is a pretty significant opportunity for me right here because I'm actually attacking a patrol that is stationed outside the next castle that I want to take. And here's the thing. The guy that is actually commanding these guys, he's inside the garrison. And so we have effectively divided and, well, not yet conquered, but we will hopefully be able to conquer them relatively soon. Now, thankfully, because this is a regular duel and I'm not actually against an enemy vassal, I should have a pretty easy time here. Unfortunately, he does have a lance, so I do need to be a bit cautious, but otherwise, we should be absolutely fine. And this guy is going to die very, very shortly. Very, very shortly. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, of course, of course, he's not going to die very shortly, of course. Anyway, there we go. Yes, he is still a leader, of course, so he is obviously still going to be a bit tough. But anyway, point is, while I was waiting at the other castle to restore my forces and level them up and so on and so forth, the medic, Pan, our, um, our, our female medic, she actually gained a skill. She actually gained a skill which improved her wound treatment, surgery, and first aid each by one so she is now turning into an even better medic than she was before and i haven't actually done anything with with her skills with her medicinal skills literally every single time she has leveled up i have given her strength because of course i want her to be at least a little bit proficient in combat because if you're not proficient in combat then you're not really going to level up that easily and it's going to be kind of tough but the point is is that she has gained that skill and as a result, she gained uh, wound treatment, first aid, and so on. So it's really, really nice to see that. And I'm actually really surprised that... Oh, hello. Just took 58 damage to the face, and it was just like, oh, let me just shrug that off real quick. Anyway, point is, is that in this mod, I feel like they have a really good sense of companion strength. And it's kind of weird, because... You wouldn't have thought that Wang Zhao Zhao, you know, the, uh, the 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 person that's actually getting kills right here. I think that's uh, isn't that isn't that her there? No, I don't think so. Anyway, the point is is that that particular companion they joined us when hmm how ma how many uh, <laughs> what kind of level did did did, did she have? Ah, uh, not that much. I think she was like level eight or something like that, and all of a sudden. She, like, I don't even know, probably like five or so episodes ago, maybe even longer than that, actually, she has proven herself to be an absolute beast. And it's kind of weird, because you wouldn't think that to be the case, would you? I mean, a level eight or something, you know, not having particularly good stats or anything like that, being able to hold her own, basically, in any situation, that is just in my opinion, really quite amazing. And she's getting kills. She's getting kills against regular infantry, against knights, against basically anything that she comes up against. And she's only using a regular, you know, village village podal, which is the, uh, the weapon that we started off using in the very beginning of this series. And obviously we know how effective it can be, but that effective for an for a companion with somewhat somewhat basic ai to to be able to you know actually use it in a proficient manner i don't know i don't know whether it's that powerful probably not but you know i think that's pretty impressive anyway we did uh you know get a victory there i mean that was kind of obvious wasn't it and I'm actually really surprised. Look at all of these kill totals as well. I actually really like that particular feature of the mod as well, because sometimes when you're playing with companions or when you're playing with basically any persistent unit, you kind of want to find out just how many kills a particular unit has had. And yeah, you know, I think there are some other places that you can go to find that out, like you might be able to go into their notes and then I think you can find out there maybe. I'm not entirely sure about that. I've never really done that that often, but to, ha to have it here on the casualty screen is really fun, in my opinion. As you can see, I haven't actually found a ransom broker yet, unfortunately, so I won't be able to take any additional prisoners, which is kind of unfortunate. I do have a lot of this particular food here, so that obviously gives us a good amount of party morale, and I'm right here, and this is the fellow that I just killed the patrol of. So he is obviously gonna be pretty annoyed, 
at me for doing that. But I don't really mind because we're going to be taking his castle in just a second and we're going to be leveling up Wang once again. She is amazing. She only had six in Power Strike and six in Iron Flesh and she was only level 14 and she's getting more kills than 10 Feet of Blue, for example, and maybe Female Tiger as well. Pretty crazy. Anyway, let's head in here. Okay, thankfully it's not a siege tower, but it would have been okay because as you can see, Li Yun is just... <laughs> he... His special skill basically makes it so that every single siege effort that we try to do is cut in half. And that is just insane and amazing in my opinion. Oh, look at that. He's already gotten another patrol. Did you see that? Another patrol spawned immediately. So that's kind of sad, actually. I previously hoped that that would not be the case. But oh, well, never mind. I did take a bit of damage in that particular uh, battle. So that is kind of also bad. But I guess we'll just try our best here. I don't think our archers are going to have that many arrows. So it's going to be pretty bad for us here. How many? Oh, no. 61 enemy units. This is going to be kind of harsh, I think. Uh, can you shoot? Can you, can you can you shoot? Oh, wait. We've got Lu Tang, don't we? We have the, the godlike, the godlike companion who is going to be so incredibly useful here. And I'm going to be very, very quick here. I'm just going to use my Moon Sword just for the moment because I'd like to be a little bit more defensive-minded for the moment. And then I get murdered for 25 damage. Of course. Of course. But it's okay because the Wu are not necessarily known for their ranged attacks. Well, they actually do pretty decent amounts of damage with ranged attacks. But yeah, I think our, uh, our archers, they actually do have arrows. It seems like we are getting a pretty significant supply of arrows here. So I'm kind of surprised about that. Usually we're not going to get that. So that's pretty cool. And maybe I can just do a little bit of damage here and there. But basically our main goal in these kinds of situations is to not take any casualties. And I think we haven't. I don't think we've taken any casualties whatsoever. No, we've taken absolutely zero. Wow. Okay. You could call that a freezing development. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you get it? Sci science? Ugh. Absolute zero? Well, uh, well, never mind. Uh, yeah. I, I guess that was kind of a bit loose. You know, a bit of a loose, uh, loose joke right there. But, oh, well. Uh, whatever the case, we are absolutely fine and I'm a bit worried actually because I'm at a pretty low HP and obviously in this mod we don't have diplomacy so if I die then bad things happen anyway 48 renown was our reward for that I'm actually really surprised that we got such a big deal out of that and we killed 55 units out of the total I don't even know how many but we're going to be leading our soldiers in an assault here it is night time so uh, you know what I'm actually going to be retreating real quick. Oh, look at this. We have gained a promotion. Wow, that's actually pretty fantastic. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Uh, a general who is the core of the army. Uh, okay, and we gained plus four strength, plus one agility, and no intelligence or anything like that. And we also gained a ring falchion. There it is. It's actually a pretty nice weapon. It's got a huge amount of weapon reach and everything. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to give this to Shimon right here. Because I think he can probably... Yeah, there we go. He's going to be using that. There we go. Oh, yeah, by the way. 10 feet of blue leveled up. And finally, she now has 8 in power draw. So she can actually use that masterwork bow that we gained a huge amount of time ago. So that's going to be really fun to see her use as well. Anyway, I am... Uh, this is actually my patrol, by the way. It's not actually enemies. So I made a bit of an error on that. But it's okay, because we can just rest here for a little bit of time. And hopefully no Wu vassals are going to turn up and uh, make things a bit difficult for us. But uh, it seems like we're having some problems in our faction in general, mainly because we are being attacked by so many factions. We're actually at war against the Song, against the Chu, against the Sha... Uh, against the Wu and against the Han, are we are we uh, a, a war against the Zhao? No, and I think the Lao are absolutely fine as well. No, yes, they are not. Uh, they are not at war against us, and we're not at war, not at war against the Jin. But we're against five factions, from what I can tell. Maybe six. I I, I didn't really count at that point, but well, who's counting? I mean, there are so many. 
Right, so we've actually entered the battle once again because, well, I've restored my HP relatively well, and now we have an issue because we are now having to defeat the <laughs> the units outside the walls once again, which is actually kind of strange because I would have thought that, well, they probably wouldn't do that again, but the opponent was able to very, very quickly restore their garrison, and I'm actually really surprised about that, to be honest. But anyway, let's just kill this guy as quickly as we can, because this is the enemy leader. There we go, he's dead. And now we will be destroying the rest. And hopefully I will not get myself killed in my overzealous manner, because I'm having a lot of fun. And you know that happens, you know that happens. If I, if I have a lot of fun, then bad things happen to me in terms of my, you know, in terms of my health. So let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just really nice that we actually get a pretty decent amount of archers to go along with us here. And also, they have good amounts of arrows as well. Because if they didn't, and if we were given a short short supply of them, we would be in a really bad situation. But yeah, Lu Tang basically gives me the the whole... Uh, well, and Li Yun. Let's not, let's not forget about Li Yun, because he's doing a fantastic job as well. But I'm just saying, those guys are crazy, so pretty awesome and that, that reminds me I really need to do a little bit more recruiting of various uh, various vassals and things like that now here's the thing I believe if we leave the faction if we leave the faction then the companions that we have recruited and that we have persuaded to join us they will leave our party so we will not be able to take them with us which is kind of an unfortunate circumstance but maybe there's just a limitation in the coding or there's a, li a limitation in some other respect but the point is is that 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 does make sense i feel like that kind of makes sense because obviously if you're a part of a particular faction and you're asking that guy to help you to expand the territory of that particular faction then obviously it makes sense for him to want to uh, join join you and you know help you out and all that stuff but anyway point is we have a minus five battle advantage this is kind of harsh 38 against 69. Oh dear, you know, I've actually just been reminded that this is the kind of layout this castle is, and we have gained a couple of kills so far with by our Sky Archer Masters, but that's basically it, and uh, it's a bit problematic because we're going to have to head up here. And I'm basically by myself, which is not very good. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but uh, I'm just going to see what's actually happening up here because maybe if I can thin out the opponent just a little bit, we might have... Uh, slightly easier time of things yes yes you know you should come towards the fellow with the amazingly powerful legendary weapon sounds like a good plan to me and uh, <laughs> if only it was you know if only it was imbued with the power of seven snakes gemstones or however many it is that would have been that would be nice wouldn't it that would be absolutely wonderful to have command of all the all the elements oh well we don't have that but we do have Lutang and Li Yun, and those guys are going to be the, uh, well, the linchpins in this operation. So let's see if we can, ooh, there's a lot of people coming. There's a lot of people coming. Okay, so we're going to have to be a bit careful here. We do not want Lu Tang to die. He has 147 HP. Let us rem remember that. He is a beast. And maybe we can just help him out a little bit, and we can be his sidekick. <laughs> Uh, yes, that, that's basically how it is. I mean, stats-wise, that's basically how it is. But I guess uh, leadership-wise, probably not. But yeah, I'm going to be really surprised if either Li Yun or he die, because they just have so much HP, so much damage reduction, and everything from Iron Flesh. Oh, wow, he's actually dead? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm actually really surprised about that. Okay, well, he got himself murdered, which is kind of unfortunate. And I might get myself murdered as well, but let's hope not. Okay, I'm just going to try and deal as much damage as I can from behind here, because that's basically all I can do, really. And is Li Yun going to die as well? I hope not. I'm actually really surprised he got himself killed there. I mean, he has so much HP. How is that even possible? I guess he was up against Wu Dark Knight, and they are not the worst by any means. They're actually pretty decent, but we just make them look bad because we have a lot of pretty strong units at the moment but wow still surprised okay well there's a lot of units coming in here but basically the best thing I can do is not take any damage 
and get my units off the stairs as quickly as possible. Because if we can get them off the stairs, then we will be, have the ability to fan out a little bit. We have the ability to spread out and make sure that we do not get bottlenecked. Although, we're fighting them on the stairs, which basically means we have the height advantage. Which is actually a pretty significant deal there, so I guess that's pretty good. And the only thing I can do is just continue killing. Just continue killing them. And... Well, we'll see how that goes. I mean, so far it's going absolutely fine, but how many have we killed? I don't know whether I have the time to have a look, you know, because I am just killing them and killing them and killing them, and that's it. There's not much more I can do. Can we maybe have some, some of my other people actually help me out here a little bit? I mean, I'm actually killing the units at the back, so technically the, the uh, companions could technically kill the ones at the front, which might make sense but they are having some difficulties with these guys that are standing by the walls here. So, whoa, okay, hello. Yeah, there's a lot of people coming in. There's level 34 for us, very nice indeed. And uh, our new title, amusingly enough, is kind of fitting because the general who basically does everything, that's kind of, that's kind of how we are because we have killed so many units in each of these fights, it's just crazy. And you know what? I'm actually going to get out my pistol here real quick so I can actually do a little bit of damage with it and maybe get a couple of kills with it as well. There we go. What? Why did I only get... Uh, oh, I only got... Oh! That's... Okay, so per shot doesn't count as a kill, but per reload does count as a kill. That's kind of a bit strange. Oh well, I guess that's just how it is. Anyway, uh, well, it's fun using a pistol at the very least, but uh, unfortunately it's not really uh, not really that viable for me if I don't have any bullets to reload, I suppose. But wow, we are going to get murdered. We're going to lose this, I think, if we don't have more of my people come in here. Going to have to head in here and try and disrupt the archers as much as possible, but I am going to be attacked, so I'm, I'm trying to move relatively fast. And yeah, look at this. This is bad. Okay, so I'm... <laughs> a sword is blocking everything. Ah, I'm dead. I'm dead. So yes, it's when all of, the, all of their archers, they spawned all of their archers in, and that's just how it went. But hopefully, we can wait here for some time, and I will be able to head back in in just a second. Wow, okay. I just about made it in time. As you can see, there's only about, I think I have about 146 units or something like that. So there's only five units remaining in the garrison here before I was able to arrive. Now, technically, this actually doesn't make any difference. Technically, I could just leave this to be taken and then I could take it back relatively simply. But, well... This gives me a good opportunity to eliminate most of the Wu vassals. They're actually heading in here with about three or four vassals. And if I can eliminate these guys, we'll have an easier time of basically taking their towns, taking anything else we want to take. Now, bear in mind, there is a little bit of other news that I should let you know about. And basically, the Han have taken one of our towns. And this gives me a fantastic opportunity. And what is that opportunity, you say? Well, I think you might have already guessed. Because they have taken it, very recently, literally in the, in the past, I don't even know, the past minute before I started recording again. And basically, that means there's going to be a very small garrison there. I will be able to head over, take it without any problems whatsoever, and maybe, just maybe, be able to be awarded it by our liege because if we are awarded it then we'll have control of a town and that will actually give us that much more influence that much more renown and well a little bit more money as well which would be kind of nice but uh, yeah I'm hopeful that I will be able to do that after defeating these Wu vassals there's actually still a lot outside I was actually kind of lucky to even get in here my patrol is very close by as well I don't know whether it's being attacked at the moment hopefully not but We'll see how it goes. Now, for the moment, basically what we have to do is <laughs> overhead central. And I should probably also let you know that uh, what happened with the previous castle that we were attempting to take, well, that's the thing. I didn't fail to take it. Well, obviously, apart from dying, I kind of did. But the main reason why I retreated from there and we are now at this castle is because that castle did have all of these vassals pass by and basically they were reinforcing it 
and basically chasing me off and then they were on their way here and so that's the reason why I kind of swung around and did what I could to try and prevent them from taking this as well which is what we're, we're, what we're currently trying to do and maybe we will attack them in in the field after this as well who knows maybe it will be an idea but from what I can tell so far I think we should be absolutely fine here I mean as we've seen multiple times already the defense is well let's just say it's pretty simple with this amazing legendary weapon most of my most of my people don't even have to do anything to be honest so it's kind of kind of crazy and uh, I, I guess I'll see you after this uh, it actually wasn't even that shortly after I said that that uh, we killed all of them basically there's 47 renown we're gaining so much renown and we're then going to lose it all by recruiting another lord <laughs> that's what's going to happen I guess anyway there's 292 I killed 110 we now have a total of 3100 wow 3119 kills that's pretty crazy and we have increased our relation and we could technically take this guy prisoner but as I've said beforehand I'm basically just going to let everyone go until we have a pretty decent amount of relation with each of them, the ones that we can't mind read, that is, and then maybe we will try and persuade them to join our faction. And then, as a result of that, we might even be able to get them into our army, and then we will have one of the most powerful armies of all time, which would be pretty crazy. So there you go. Okay. Unfortunately, they don't have exceptional rescued prisoners here and I'm probably going to be taking them literally for the sole purpose of putting in our well putting in our patrol just to give them some extra numbers and that's basically it anyway we will now uh, is there anything here that I want, really want to take I could take some guard boots I suppose for a potential companion oh that was all of them oh okay so apparently I uh hmm Yes, okay, That's uh, that was interesting. I actually thought that we did not get there in time, but uh, yeah, I thought there were a, a whole bunch of extra vassals outside, but apparently not, apparently not. Okay, well, that's actually fine. That's actually perfectly fine with me, and we will now be just leveling up a couple of these and putting them into our patrols little area here. There we go, and so they have a little bit more a little bit more people to contribute to the to the fights that we're going to be doing and I think what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go over to the Han town and that's the one that has just been taken from us and I will attempt to take it back but we do have to be a bit careful here oh and it seems like oh are you serious they're seriously trying to take my my castle that is that is rude you know that's that's really rude of them isn't it I mean really I've been doing nothing but attacking the Wu, and I haven't been attacking the Han at all. And bear in mind, my weapon has 20%, or actually 21% extra damage to the Han. So they need to be very fearful of me. Or maybe, maybe not. Well, actually, I thought it was a lot of people, but it's actually just about 500. Because, obviously, it looks a lot more when, you, when they have so many, you know, patrols and so on and so forth. But, uh, thankfully, I was able to get inside, and now it is a matter of murdering every single person that comes up the ladder here. But, hopefully, we will be able to take the town after this. And there's Lu Tang. Shall we just... Shall we just observe? Let us just observe the greatness that is Lu Tang. And now that I've said that... He's gonna die in like two seconds. What do you what do you expect? What do you think? Is he gonna die in two seconds? Uh, what actually happened right there? Golden wing what? Golden wings something or golden wings brushing against the clouds? What 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 actually happened right there? What actually happened? Okay, I might actually have to help with uh, some of the enemy lords because they might be a bit a bit tricky. But uh, yes, <laughs> that's. That's kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit worrying. I, I, I suppose the best thing that we can possibly do is just take out the enemy's lords, and then go from there. But I was really hoping that we could see Lu Tang in action because he is fantastic. I mean, we know that, but apparently in siege defense he might not be that good because there's not that much space, and you do need to be kind of a, a player. You know, you need to be an actual player, not an AI, to. Uh, you know, actually 
be effective when you have such a long weapon, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's kind of how it is. Anyway, as you can see, the extra damage that we're actually dealing to the Han here is pretty significant. You know, doing 86 damage and having an extra 15 on top of that means that you're probably going to be one-shotting basically every single unit that you come up against, with the exception of enemy lords, of course. I would assume that they're going to be a bit more difficult than that. This guy has a massive weapon. Yeah, he's a gold lancer. Wow, their weapon is massive. I am actually really surprised. And it's like a pole hammer of some kind? A pole hammer or something like that? I, I'm actually unsure. Oh well, whatever the case, it's going to take me a bit of time to grind my way through all of these enemies. But rest assured, I will do my utmost to make sure that our castle, our very first castle that was awarded to us, will not be taken. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so Lu Tang has actually gotten enough kills now to be able to level up his weapon. And I'm actually wondering, I should really check on that, but I'm actually wondering whether I need to take their weapons and actually upgrade them myself. But uh, I think I actually mentioned that in a previous episode, and I did not check it. So hopefully I will be able to remember to do that, because then I can take a look and see whether it actually requires me to do it or whether they just do it automatically. I think it would be pretty cool if they do it automatically. I think it might be a bit too micromanaging if I do it myself, but uh, I don't really mind. I mean, the the fellow is so incredibly powerful that maybe it doesn't even matter whether his weapon is upgraded or not, but it would be cool to see at the very least. Anyway, look at, look at, look at the bodies. The bodies are, are all literally on each other and they're, they're just like mounting up. That is just crazy. Wow. That is insane. I think I do have corpses on unlimited at the moment, so obviously we are going... Uh, wait, is it is it unlimited? Hmm. Not entirely sure if it's unlimited corpses or unlimited something else, but I know that there is an option for unlimited something, so maybe it is corpses, but maybe it's something else, but... Oh well, whatever the case, I think that was a pretty cool little thing to see there, because usually you don't see that. Usually they just slide down the ladder, you know slide down the ladder and greet the friends that are coming up the ladder and I don't know why you would I, don't, I have no idea why anyone if they see this look at this this mound of this mound of bodies why would you go up the ladder I don't know I mean I would personally retreat and I'd basically be like okay I'm done <laughs> you know, I'm done here goodbye you know so yeah it's, uh, it's definitely something they should probably reconsider maybe there's gonna be uh, some improvement to, you know, some improvements to that in the future. That would be kind of nice, but whatever the case, I think we're fine. As you can see, we've eliminated 420 or 20 blazes. Yes. Okay. Obviously, we had to go there. I mean, you know. Anyway, point is, we are basically done. There's only a handful remaining, and they don't have very high tier units. I, I think, think they are actually sending in some Wu Knights still. But that's basically it. I'm actually kind of surprised that... Why do they have... Uh, why do they have Wu Knights here? Does that mean that there was a... Ah, there's a Wu Vassal. Or a couple of Wu Vassals that may have defected to the Han. That makes sense. But it's actually kind of cool to see some of the Han units as well. Because they have these... They have these sharpshooter units that look really, really stylish. But unfortunately they, they die just like the rest. So it's not particularly... It's not helping them to look cool, is it? It's not really helping them, but whatever the case, I think that's, uh, I think that's basically, I mean, I've literally gotten more than half of the kills. I mean, I guess that, that is to be expected, considering we do have a legendary weapon, and I'm just standing here doing overhead attacks, but usually that's not the case, you know, so, oh well, never mind. Ah, it's the death charge, boom, there we go, he's dead. And I can just imagine, just I can just imagine coming up from the other side and just seeing all these bodies sliding down the ladder and being like, oh yeah, I definitely need to go up there. It's not a good idea, not a good idea. Anyway, there we go, 494, we killed 269 ourselves, and ah, there you go. We have another person leveling up, getting uh, additional strength, getting some additional two-handed weapon proficiency, and these guys are all going to probably escape. Ooh... This guy might be willing to join us. Are you willing to join us? Believe in my courage and leadership. I will lead you to victory and unite the kingdom. He joined. He joined us. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're going to go and find him. And uh, hopefully we will be able to recruit him. Obviously, I won't be able to do that right now. But I will be able to do that after we've rested 
just a little bit, and we'll see how that goes. But uh, that is pretty cool, in my opinion. Okay, so there we go. Let's just level those up. I can't take any more. Unfortunately, I'm actually kind of salty about that because these guys are really good. All of these guys are really good. So it would have been nice to take those, but what can you do? Sometimes you just don't have enough space. Anyway, there you go. A defense was successful, actually very successful indeed. And we are, in the next episode, going to be heading over to the town and seeing if we can capture that for ourselves. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.